on a day that um, I've had enough BS in my life. I call BS on this particular Alan Watts segment. I, usually I appreciate his point of view. And um, again, I'm, I'm just learning how to dissect and differentiate between sources when it comes from somebody else, when it comes from their experience on the world, on the planet versus my own. And I've seen honest, good people uh, be well tired of playing the game and still feel like at the end of the game they have lost because it's just too many games and too many tricks. It's too many uh, pieces of advice. That's the problem. It's a piece. It's not wholeness. And it discredits those who have come to try to make light of a serious situation. Life is not a social game. And when you feel like an involuntary participant in somebody else's game, that's, that's when you take on uh, more of a Hunger Games kind of persona. It says, no, I, I never signed up for such that kind of game. I was put into it uh, through circumstance. So instead of me denying that this is game for somebody, I will clarify it's not a game to me. Games would suggest that there is a potential for me to lose. It would presume that I have a worthy opponent. It would presume that there is something worth winning. And when it is already yours, there's nothing to win. You clarify, you make peace, you publicize your freedom through whatever means you feel necessary. It's a kind of declaration of independence for oneself. You don't wait till somebody else signs a piece of paper for you. You write your own declaration and you sign it for yourself. You put an X right there, put a V, it doesn't matter. It's your intention, your blood, but you stop playing games altogether. And that's what I did today. I stopped playing games with myself, listening to people who are articulate, but they are not here. Maybe that was true uh, five years ago when somebody uploaded it. Maybe it was true 20 years ago or 30 years ago when he said it. But in 2023, because we are not repeating his story, we have living people to tell their stories in real time. 2309 on the clock, January the 26th, 2023. Someone who is on the other side is not living in today's program. All we can do is take suggestions and influences from their story. Their stories are no longer valid. He gave the story of the uh, servant who was given a hot piece of coal to see if she would lose her integrity. And so she was always on point with how she conducted herself. And this was the way of the Zen masters. No matter what situation they are put in, they always come out shining. Well, we're tired of that. We're done with that, getting the short end of the stick or no stick at all or being stuck with the stick or whatever the proverb, whatever the 
saying we're not satisfied because we don't see our own value realized in the bank accounts. We don't see it realized in our assets. And we're told just stay humble. We're told just keep on grinding, keep on trucking and whatever else we're told to do. But no one is giving us the formula. So you create your own. That's what I'm doing. That's what I did. I went inside of myself and I had to separate what somebody else said who doesn't live my life who doesn't live in my era who doesn't live in my neighborhood never lived in my neighborhood didn't go to the school that I went to didn't get bused from city to county did not go through class after class the way that I did so you cannot speak for me you cannot relate to me and so I don't blame him I'm just telling you my story he was coming from a white man's point of view. Talking about a story of a geisha. I'm a black woman. I'm a black American. I'm a Negro. I'm colored. I'm melanated. As far as the east is from the west. As far as the south is from the north. And it's direct and on point and dead center. I like to be when it comes to accuracy. Then his words are not valid right here. My name is Val and I validate my message. We need more tired black women who refuse to pay the same amount of money to give up their seat to somebody else. We need not call that a hero or shero or heroine. We call it common knowledge and common sense. The nickel is the same. Her dime is the same as mine. I got on the bus first. I sit down. Wherever I find a seat. That should be the name of this game in 2023. Or I go to the bank or I go to the car lot or I go to the hospital, wherever I go. If my insurance card, if my money is the same color as the people next to me, if I got the same kind of iPhone, if I got the same kind of shoes, I paid the same kind of money. We're not going to talk about how hard it was to get the said money. We're not going to talk about the fact that I got children. We're not going to talk about those things. We're just talking about dollar for dollar. Because we don't use pounds in the USD. We use U.S. dollars, United States dollars. I'm not into the plastic. I got to pay that plastic off. I'm into the trees. And as long as my trees are green with the all-seeing eye on it, then it says whatever privileges the $20 gets for one, this $20 should get for the next. Whatever $20 million get for one should get $20 million for the next. And that's called even in the playing field. Don't look at me cross-sided because I lay money down on the table. You check the money. Don't check me. So I got your checkmate. I got a voice for the people who want it fair and now they want it all. They want their whole soul back. They want both of their feet, their arms and their legs and their head, their children and their grandchildren. They want their ancestors back. They want their mind back. They want their DNA back. They want their artistry back. They want their creativity back. They want their mind back. They want their soul back. 
return unto them. They want their time back. And yes, you can get your time back. That's going to cost you. Take care. I will see you all on the other side. Don't let nobody with a deep self, with a rest and peace self, come up and try to tell you what to do in 2023. There's a place called Perfectionist. And it doesn't look like perfection because you don't even know what perfection looks like. You don't know what the word perfectionist means. But there is an inward working on maturity for us to get to a place where it says, if you ain't got what I'm buying, then get out my way. Don't sell me on no BS. Don't sell me on no foolishness. I don't, I don't want to sleep and lose weight. I don't want you to pop me a pill and make me magically better. I want to know what's going on with my body. I want to know what's going on with my mind. I want to know who has control over my programming every day. Who am I eating from? Whose table with my eyes and my ears and my nose and my mouth? Who is serving me? Don't give me your commercials. Don't give me no baloney. Don't give me no canned script. Tell me who you are. I'll tell you who I am. My name's Val, and I validate my messages. I'm here to show and prove that if that's what you need in your life, if you're true to yourself and you just want somebody to validate, this is who I am. I'm, I got your word. I got your word. You say your name, whatever you say your name is, I'm taking you at your word. You say you God, I'm taking you at your word. Until you show me otherwise, I'll walk with you. I'll talk with you. Now, that's real. But I'm done with people telling me I'm like everybody else, that we are all one, that we're in this boat together. No, we're not. Maybe it's time to walk on water. Maybe it's time to get out the ships. Take care. I'll see you on the other side.